Hello again, welcome back to the uh, kitchen table. Um, we're going to do episode two of the infrequent series on kind of updates and new products and rumors and whatever's happening in the uh, in the vision world. Um, so yeah, I thought there's been a few interesting things happening. So let's start on the DJI vision front specifically um news from dji they're running the free battery if you buy a vision promotion again um this is through dealers and also if you buy direct from the dji website so if you were watching these and thinking oh well you know do i want a vision or not you know you're getting 160 dollars or 105 or so pounds worth of value extra in that deal if you buy it currently so that was quite interesting. Um, another bit of information specific to the vision in the last few days on the DJI Global Facebook page. They did a nice big uh, announcement about uh, an update coming within a couple of weeks for the Phantom 2, not the vision, to enable that to uh, work with the standalone DJI ground station um, hardware and iPad software, but within the um, within the sort of comments and answers to that, somebody from DJI did post that the Vision's standalone Waypoint system, which will be we'll be able to access using our app and possibly a firmware update. Not sure about the latter. Uh, will be released shortly after that. Now they're quoting two weeks or so for the P two ground station, and I would imagine within another couple of weeks of that, we should be rocking and rolling with our own version of waypoint flying so within hmm, maybe by the end of the month i don't know but that's from an official source so that's very encouraging now there is a downside with all that because on the facebook page in a reply to somebody um about will they need extra hardware for for their p2 and, and so on and so forth somebody from dji did say oh yes if you want to run the DJI Ground Station iPad app, you just need to buy this Bluetooth data link for your Phantom 2 or your Vision. And I've got to tell you guys, I'm 99% certain that is wrong. Um, for a start, why would you spend 130 quid on the data link when we're getting a Waypoint system for nothing? And secondly, the Vision doesn't have the, the CAN bus port inside it that you need to plug that bit of hardware into. If you've got a P2 and you want waypoints, you need to use the standalone DJI iPad ground station app with the Bluetooth data link in order for the, the one to talk to the other and, and send the, the Phantom off on its missions. We've got a built-in data link through here. Um, I've talked to a technical contact at DJI and they've confirmed there is no there is no port inside here that will accept that data link. So please, you know, I've said to them they really need to correct the Facebook then because there may be some vision owners who haven't been reading around too much and assume they need to buy this bit of kit and they'll be sorely disappointed or, or perhaps more accurately very annoyed when they discover that it's uh, not necessarily not necessary. They may have blown 130 pounds or the equivalent in your local currency on it. So that's just something to be aware of. But that's that bit aside, waypoints coming soon is really good news. So that's um that's the sort of official DJI news for the last few days. Um unofficially there's a rumor. There is a rumor floating around. It's been on phantompilots.com and it's been on RC groups about something in the works called a Vision Plus. Now there's no other information on this other than Somebody has said that they think it will include a gimbal, a brushless gimbal, two axis, three axis. Other people have uh, speculated there may be an improved camera, that maybe it's by plus, they're meaning it's a sort of more of a prosumer unit. We've got absolutely no other information officially on that whatsoever that I've seen. Um, we don't know whether the, the new gimbal is going to be sort of, you know, backwards compatible with your existing vision or whether this is going to be a, a new unit. I mean, you know, the main board in here is slightly different. So whether they're going to, if they do do that, whether they'll have to offer some upgrade system, I don't know. If it's a new vision with a new camera, then obviously it's probably not going to look quite like this. So will it fit? I don't know. But these rumours are coming around. Somebody uh, I saw on Phantom Pilots had quoted a DJI dealer 
uh, saying that this would happen, but we haven't sort of seen anything. Um, someone's posted some photographs of what they claim is 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 something, but I it looked it looked a little bit I don't know slightly staged to me. Um, but there we go. There's a rumor. Vision Plus apparently. So take that you know read that as you will. Um, I haven't heard anything else on the sort of uh, on the development front. So if anybody else has, please you know leave a comment down there, and we can we can all we can all share in the rumor mill and grind our way through it. Um, okay, so um, I've been doing some mods. As those of you who watched the videos will know, I've been playing around with these um, antennas, the two point four and the five point eight from Horizon FPV, and I fitted those and I range tested them and did a video about that, and I'm I'm well pleased because I have doubled my control range and i have you know I'm, I'm pushing on for doubling my wi-fi my fpv range all i wanted was to get about 1500 feet solid of both and i've achieved that already just by putting these on my transmitter and my range extender i haven't even added anything this is all stock antennas on here and that was brilliant um there are you know have a look at those vids if you're interested but that was a that was a really good good experience for me. The other thing that's um, that, that I, had, I, I found was obviously I fitted the um, the lens filter kit, uh, and I've been playing around with some polarizers and, and various things. And I was noticing some really bad sort of halo lens flaring and stuff. And through a bit of a trial and error, and with a chat with another guy on PhantomPilots.com, we kind of came to the same conclusion that this shiny silver lens surround was causing light to come through bounce off here and then bounce off the inner surface of the lens filter and cause all sorts of flaring and haloing. And a guy on there very kindly had something called photographer's foil and he masked it up and it dulled the reflections. Fantastic. And now um, Mark from Signs of Life, who I've mentioned in previous videos uh, and reviewed some of his stickers, he's done these custom stickers on the here, has come up with a, um, a, ver a matte non-reflective vinyl that will cover all this shiny silver stuff. I've got one of those, I've bought one of those, that's coming in the post. Other users have got them uh, as something similar and have fitted them and have reported that that does wonders for stopping the glare on the on the, on the the filters. So that's well worth, um, uh, well worth uh, having a look. Uh, if you've got one of these and you're suffering from, from, from a flaring, um, whether DJI will pick up on this and do something official in the kit going forward, I don't know, but as a stopgap, that's very good. Um, speaking of Signs of Life, under sort of the new products banner, he's um, Mark from Signs of Life just announced today actually that he's done a few, a couple more um, uh, custom armbands, if you like, here, including one which has got the Union Jack on. How very patriotic! So I have, of course, placed an order for that one. So go to uh, go to his website and have a look at some of those new things. He's also hinted at he's got something new not directly related to the to the aircraft but for pilots i don't know what that is but he's being a bit of a tease but there we go um speaking of sun there has been some lately not much but enough to go and test that that the uh, the, the flare on the filters um i got in the post one of these from a company called glare stomper in the us and it's basically it's a sunshade for my Nexus 4. And what you do is you go to their website, which I'll obviously link down here. Uh, you can put in whatever device you've got, either, and if it's not in their database, just measure it. And then they will give you a link to one of their products that um, that will match. And so what it is, basically it's a, you can see it's, um, it obviously folds away nicely. It's got a, a Velcro strip on this side, which corresponds to another strip that they put in the pack that you can put on your device. And when you attach it there, you get a, a kind of a, a nice sort of deep hood, a sunshade. Now what I did is I didn't really want to put another sticky bit of velcro around my phone. Um, I have it in like a slip pouch. I don't use a, a hard case, but I bought off eBay or Amazon, somewhere like that. I really, this was, this was like two pounds, a bumper case the phone can stick into. And then I used the, um, the, the, other side, the loop side of the Velcro that came with with the, with the glare stomper, and just sort of stuck it on the edge. So when I'm in the flying field, I can take my phone, put it into this bumper, and then you just can place it in there like that. 
course I've done it the wrong way around, but you get the idea. And then it sits there and that will grip within the um, the transmitter and you, you get a, a sunshade. And I found that actually that's, it's, it's pretty good. My top tip, don't wear a light colored top, <laughs> like a white t-shirt, because the glare from that goes straight onto your screen. But I thought that was a pretty reasonable um, little kind of portable, it folds up really small. Even the, even the bumper fits in the lid of my flight case and this folds up virtually flat. So I thought that was a, a good little, a good little uh, thing to look at. Um, other people I know have done some really cool homebrew ones using cardboard and bits and pieces, but um, I don't know, uh, my, my DIY skills and paper cutting skills are probably not up to it and it would look rubbish in the last five seconds. So I thought this one can't, sort of rip stops on that one it's going to last for, it's going to outlast me probably so yeah so um, that was it that was another little roundup of, of some some news and some bits and pieces hopefully soon um waypoints for the vision um that'll be great i've also just heard today um uh, that my gimbal from rotopixel is shipping so that should hopefully be with me early part of next week and i'm going to do you know i'll show you guys i'll do an unboxing and a uh, and a setup and I'll really see you know is it truly plug and play and can someone with very limited technical skills like me get it up and running and that'll be really interesting so uh, but it's on a you know it's going to take four or five days from Canada to get here so I'm not going to um, not going to hold my breath on that but yeah so uh, that's about it for now if, as I say if anyone else has come across any other rumors or bits and pieces please put them in the comments and I'll carry that forward to the next sort of update um, but for now I'm going to rest my throat which is still croaky I apologize if I sound bizarre and unusual it's, it's I'm just still not very well but I'm going to take some of this medicinal tempranillo from Spain so um, anyway cheers and uh, thanks very much for watching and I'll speak to you again soon